Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Doing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Oh, hey, I think we're on air. This is somehow a part of the Acquia podcast where I get to talk with people about Drupal, open source, community technology business, that kind of stuff that uh, I'm interested in and that um, I find really enjoyable to talk about. Um, this is what I've been calling the, this is the second session in Jams Drupal Camp. So I'm really lucky to be able to go to a lot of technology events in the year. And I started thinking to myself, some of these great sessions that, um, that, that our colleagues do um, get done once or twice, and there's a video recording of them online, maybe or maybe not, and they might be hard to find. And so I thought, uh, when I saw something cool, I'd like to get it out on YouTube. I'd like to write something about it. I'd like to give that information more of a chance to be free or to be found, I think. Today, I am talking with Amitai Borstein from a Drupal shop in Israel. Good friend of mine. Shop is called Gizra. Good morning, Amitai. How are you doing? Good morning, Jam. How are you? I'm, I'm excellent, actually. You know, we just celebrated Bar Mitzvah for uh, Drupal, right? Right, exactly. 13 <laughs> years old yesterday. Mazel tov. Yeah, so, yeah. So, um, so what are you going to be talking about today? Today I'm going to talk about a uh, new development. We've been uh, something new that we've developed here in uh, in uh, Gizra. It's called Zariz, which is the Hebrew word uh, which means quick or agile. And it's something. It's like uh, a new solution for an old problem. And the problems are content staging and the fact that uh, Drupal is slow. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay. So a new problem for an old solution. No, what was that? No, <laughs> a, a new solution for an old problem. Okay, so um, because this is the Acquia podcast, um, I want to ask you a few questions before I turn it over to your session. Anytime, what's your first Drupal memory? My first Drupal memory? My first Drupal memory, even before knowing what Drupal is, was I'm thinking about six years ago. I was still in my fashion design studies, and I had an ID for like a startup. And believe it or not, it 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 never happened. The startup, <laughs> but I was uh, thinking about yeah, amazing, right? Six years ago, <laughs> I was thinking, okay, I understood that I need some kind of a system. I don't know which one and i remember there was like a site called the cms matrix or something like that like it took me a long time to understand that what i'm looking for is cms and there was a cms matrix and it had like shit loads of cms over there probably 90 percent of them are already dead and drupal wasn't the first one but somehow i've picked drupal and i think there are uh, nights i'm waking up in the middle of the night not because of my kids because of myself and i like breathe heavily and i tell myself oh my god it's a good thing I chose Drupal and not the other ones because six, six years, or almost seven years later, I'm, I'm still here with Drupal. So that's my first, first Drupal uh, memory. After that, there are tons of good memories and, you know, some horrible memories. Most of them are related to Form API. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what was the first version of Drupal that you touched? Uh, 4.6. 4.6. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so <clears throat> compare Drupal now to Drupal back then. Uh, oh my God. Completely different. Comple I mean, the entire web has changed. I mean, 
This is something we, you can also see between Drupal 7 and Drupal 8, the fact that Drupal 7 is still kind of monolithic, saying, OK, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do the back end and the front end and the CSS and everything. And now Drupal 8 is now you know, getting off the island, as, as we like to say in the Drupal world. So it looks completely different. Also, in terms of reading code, I realize that for me as a newbie or somebody that completely had no clue about what coding was, getting into Drupal itself was probably a little easier uh, if I tried to imagine myself doing it uh, right now. Uh, however, no doubt that Drupal is now much more powerful and the fact there are so many high profile sites uh, using it, like we no longer need to convince people Drupal is secure, right? I mean, the White House is using it, so that's it. So things that I had to, to do like five years ago, I don't have to do it. So there are certainly a lot of advantages. Uh, I like, I like, Dru I still like Drupal. I still like the, the, <laughs> the way it's going. Uh, head of Drupal shop says, I still like Drupal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> after six years, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not easy. You can, you can, you can still hear me, hear me cursing at times uh, uh, at the screen, but uh, I mean, I try to keep it as calm as possible. And I mean, I can always fix it in the end. It just depends how much how, how much time it's going to take for me. <laughs> that's a good six years is a is a is a good relationship, though. I mean, that's a lot of time to yeah. uh, to spend with anything, right? So yeah, yeah, exactly. So tell us just a little bit about what you with Drupal, uh, what you do with Drupal and maybe what Gizra does? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. So as you said, Gizra is, uh, we're a web development shop in Israel. We are about uh, 15 uh, people right now. And we are pretty hardcore with Drupal, but not just Drupal. We're dealing also with all the latest technologies like Node.js and Angular and Jekyll. Uh, but I would say that's still like 70 or 80 percent of our business is Drupal. Uh, we have a pretty high profile uh, clients like uh, we're for the past two years we are developing uh, open scholar harvard's open scholar this is a, a distribution used on uh, on the harvard sites and other other university as well we have like four full time uh, full time job employees working uh, uh, only on that and that's i think pretty special i mean for harvard to reach you know, to reach an Israeli shop uh, to do that. And I'm really, really proud about it. Uh, we've been working, maybe you know this company, it's called Acquia. We've, we've been working along with Acquia. Yeah, you probably heard about it. You should hear about it. It's a good company. And the reason we've been working with them is because we are maintaining quite a few, uh, uh, again, high profile models, let's call it, like uh, we're the maintainers of organic groups model, which is responsible for the group functionality in Drupal and entity reference and the message stack. And recently we've uh, became maintainers of Biblio, which if you don't care about bibliography, you, there's no reason why you will know about it. But if you do, then that's the model, that's the, the, the model for you. So like we're pretty much invested in Drupal itself in Drupal core. I mean, now I'm the co-maintainer of the entity reference model in, uh, in uh, Drupal 8. So we can say, I can easily say that we got our hands pretty dirty and we got, uh, we got deep into, into Drupal. So you've got tons of free time, right? I have zero free time. <laughs> I have my twins. I have a, a, a girl, she's four years old, and I have twins that are going to celebrate one year in, 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 a, in a few days, which uh -huh. means I, I have zero, zero time. Uh, zero free time. Uh, the, the little free time that I have, I uh, I've been spending it most of it on on uh, Zariz. And luckily, I'm happy to say, since we have so many uh, you know uh, employees over here that are really really knowledgeable about Drupal, every employee has a one hour contribution every day. So they go over the different issue queue, entity reference, organic groups, message, and so on and they write patches and they review patches and they do all the support issues that I definitely don't, almost don't have any time to do that. So, I mean, uh, when you don't have time for something, delegate it to other people. That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's great. It's also great. It's also great to, um, you know, and this is something that we actually, I don't think that we can say it often enough. Everybody who's benef benefiting from Drupal should really do their best to be giving back as well because, um, 
you know, this it's it's millions of hours of work and 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 passion and so much time and investment from so many people. And I think it's really worth improving, really worth keeping alive. And I personally like having my rent paid, so I really want to keep that. I really want to keep that uh, that ecosystem alive. So yeah. thank Absolutely. you, yeah, thank you for the contribution. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I'm not doing it just because I'm a communist and I think just the, for the greater good. I mean, I'm doing it because it's also good for us. I mean, in the end, we wouldn't become the guys developing for Harvard or the guy developing for Aquaya or the guy developing for commerce guys, you know, just because we're nice. We are nice, but we're, we're doing it because they realize our code has like top of like top quality because we're contributing that. And I mean, if you ever, for the, for the audience at home, do contribute, it's good for you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, let's get a couple more questions, quick answers in, and then I wanna let you do your presentation. Um, sure. What is your favorite thing about Drupal? My favorite thing about Drupal? Field API. Field API, yeah. What should yeah. other people know about Drupal? They should know about Drupal, that's it. <laughs> ah, okay. What's your favorite Drupal module? Yeah, I would, I would say that it's, well, it's, it's hard to say. There are a lot of, of good things. Uh, like, that's probably the technical thing that I like because it brings so much power into, into the place. But it, come to think of it, when you're asking me what's my favorite thing about Drupal, it's probably going to the DrupalCon conferences and meeting all the people. I interact with them through IRC and stuff like that. And then actually being able to say, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> what is the coolest thing that you've built or done with Drupal? The coolest, the coolest thing? Honestly, right now, I think it's what I'm going to present today. There is. I'm totally That's psyched about it. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice to work. Nice working. move. Nice move. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what are you most excited about for Drupal 8? What I'm mostly excited about Drupal 8? Hmm. It's, uh, it's hard for me to say. I, I, uh, I don't know, man. I, I would say field API again because it's, you know what I know, entity reference. On the technical side, entity reference. That's okay. like, that's awesome. <laughs> I want you to introduce what you're going to be talking about today. It's um, when you came to me and you wanted to talk about this uh, here, I got really excited because I had read about what you were doing with Jekyll plus Drupal in Drekyll. Yeah. And then when you told me, actually, that had turned into kind of a dead end and you'd come up with something much better, uh, I wanted to know all about that. So let me turn this over to you. You start right. your screen sharing when you've got your slides ready. And um, so, everyone, welcome to Jam's Drupal Camp, uh, today's session with Amitai Borstein from Gizra about Zariz. So at this point, if you are listening to the podcast version of this, you're going to need to cruise on over to acquia.com slash podcasts, find Amitai's session page, and there you'll find some text about his session, the video of the session, and slides embedded on that page about Amitai Borstein's session covering Zariz continuous content deployment for Drupal. I'll see you over there, and thanks for listening. So much for having me and for, for doing uh, Gems Drupal Camps. Aha! Uh -huh. It's my five, Amitai. High, High five, five, man. Boof. Okay, so Amitai, uh, have a good one. Thank you so much, and I uh, hope to talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Take bye care. Bye.